My name is Tobias. Um, I'm uh, with Yezun. I'm the co-founder and um, the technical lead. Um, today with me is also Tamara from uh, our marketing team, and um, she will take care of the tech stuff um, and to make sure that this is a smooth webinar. Um, yeah, thanks for joining. Um, we wanted to talk to you about um, the new version of our Outlook email for Jira add-in. Um, you probably have heard some things about that already, um, but we wanted to take to, to use a chance um, and have this webinar to, to give you a bit more insight. Um, before we get started, um, the target audience of um, this webinar is um, usually uh, Jira administrators or key users um, who are already using the previous version of our Outlook email for Jira.com add-in. Um, as this has been a bit confusing in the past, um, we, we just wanted to start off um, by explaining a bit um, what add-ins we currently have and um, what the difference between them is. So you um, basically know um, which one you have or which one you maybe should be using. Um, so previously, um, we only had the COM add-in. Um, this is the one which is locally installed on your computer uh, via an Excel file. Um, it works on Windows only, um, but it works with any Outlook version starting with 2010 and uh, Microsoft Exchange. Um, this is basically the one uh, which was our, our biggest version and um, if you have been using this one before, um, this is probably um, the webinar you want to listen to. Um, on the other side, we also have the Office add-in. Um, this is the um, version which is a bit more modern or has been more modern. Um, you, this is the one you can install from the Office Store or App Source. Um, this runs on all devices, um, but requires um, a modern version of Outlook and uh, mostly of 65. So if you're using that one, there's probably not too much new um, in this webinar. So <clears throat> the purpose of this webinar is to, to give you a bit um, of information about um, the new and upcoming changes um, and to give you a bit of information on how you can test the new version, what uh, the upgrade will look like, um, and what the um, things you will, will need to uh, focus on. Um, we'll start off with a, a brief history, um, what has changed in the new version, um, how, how you can try the update today, um, and also what are the next steps. So the history of the add-in um, already starts like uh, five years ago in 2014, where we released the first version of the Outlook add-in, um, the COM add-in at that point, um, to the Atlassian Marketplace um, and evolved it ever since. Um, in 2017, uh, Microsoft actually announced um, a, a second way or a more modern way to, to build Office add-ins that also support uh, the Outlook mobile apps on iOS and Android, um, and also the Outlook for Mac version. Um, so we took the chance to um, release something for these platforms as well. Um, and beginning of last year, we started to modernize the Office add-in um, to the new Atlassian UI guidelines. Um, and also to uh, make it possible to yeah, set that precursor for the current version, which we released um, a few weeks ago, um, which basically brings the both add-ins um, together. So they should now look and feel uh, very much alike. So uh, independent on which um, platform you use to run your Outlook, um, you should pretty much get the same experience as of now. Um, why did we had to update or why did we make a big update? Um, so since the, the older add-in, the COM add-in um, had a uh, very old code base um, and the, the Office add-in was very, very different from that, um, we always had to maintain two different products basically, uh, which made it very hard to um, develop new features because we always had to do it twice and um, that, that made it very difficult. Um, also the, the classical or the old COM add-in was hard to keep stable uh, because it was um, built such a long time ago um, and 
it was hard to keep it stable for the latest uh, Windows 10 updates and the, the Office um, patches, especially on Office 65. Um, in addition to that, last year GPR was a big topic for Atlassian um, and this also required um, a big rewrite, which we did in the, com in, in the Office add-in already. Um, but we wanted to bring all the changes to the, the com add-in as well, because um, especially our, our Geo server customers deserve um, the mo most privacy we can we can get. Um, also, since they, they were basically two different products, um, they had very different feature set. For example, um, the, the Office add-in had a, a sidebar in Outlook for a very long time. Um, but the com add-in did not, so presenting that and explaining that to customers was actually uh, very hard. Um, and with this new version we just released a few weeks ago, we tried to change all of that. Okay, let's uh, briefly walk through um, what's new in this new com add-in. Um, if you have been using the old com add-in before, you probably know these three buttons. Um, these are the uh, three buttons you can you, you would use to interact with our, our app. Um, that was basically just creating a new issue, um, adding information to a new to to an existing issue, um, or just opening an, an linked issue uh, in, in Jira. Um, what we now introduced for the com add-in as well, um, as I mentioned, this has been available for the office add-in for some time, um, is a new sidebar. Um, this basically replaces this single uh, open issue button, um, which was very limited in terms of um, how, what you can do with an issue inside of Outlook. Um, now um, you basically have a view issues button instead, um, which will bring up um, a much better looking sidebar uh, where you can quickly see the uh, linked issue um, and also um, interact with the with the issue. For example, uh, transition it to another status, assign it to someone, um, or um, share it via via email, for example. Um, also, um, the look and feel of um, the new issue dialog and the add to issue dialog uh, was very dated. Um, we didn't have any uh, what you see is what you get editor. Um, it, it had a lot of usability issues, especially for keyboard users. Um, so what we did is we basically adopted the um, Atlassian UI kit, um, which brings the, the modern look and, look and feel um, to our add-in as well. Um, and your users should feel right at home if they are using Jira already. Um, what I already mentioned, we also brought in on what you see is what you get editor, so you can easily, uh, more easily modify the content before um, you, you send it to Jira. Um, this is a huge improvement um, over the, the old editor, which would just show the plain markup. Um, this, if you prefer just showing the markup, this is still an option, so you can turn off this graphical editor, um, but to get started for new users, um, this, this should be much more simple now. Um, some other more minor changes um, or major, depending on where you come from, um, are we, we did some improvements to service desk handling. Um, so if you create a new issue in a service desk project, um, you will now have the possibility to, um, so it will now default to using the request type. So you won't have this clumsy workaround of using a service desk assignment, what we had before anymore. Um, if you are using a high resolution display, we do support this now in a much better way. So you shouldn't have any like scaling issues anymore with dialogues or anything like that. Um, we also integrate with our other product, uh, Outlook Meetings for Jira, um, which lets you schedule uh, meetings uh, from Jira itself. Um, if you have such a meeting in your calendar, um, you can also now view. Um, the signed issue in the sidebar as well for that. Um, in addition, we uh, improved the connectivity a lot. So in the old com add-in in the old Jira app, it was very hard to, for example, add a secondary uh, staging system or um, really just change, for example, the, the base URL of the Jira system. So um, 
we now moved all of that to to the add-in itself so you can just uh, add new jira instances um, remove one change the base url uh, really really easily um, and this also brought the support for multiple instances which should um, really make it easy for example um, Administrators in, in bigger companies, if you have a staging system, for example, a development system and a production system, you now should be able to connect both of them um, and you can just easily switch in uh, every place um, where it's necessary. Now, um, how to update to the new version. Um, so we consider this new version already production ready. Um, our new customers will only get the new add-in, so you, they won't even see the old COM add-in anymore. Um, Though for the existing customers, um, this is still an optional upgrade. Um, currently, if you want to try the new COM add-in, um, it's a manual update um, and the old COM add-in will continue to work for uh, quite some time. So um, if you don't have the time um, before Christmas, check it out, uh, don't worry. Uh, we, we recommend testing that, but um, if you don't find the time this year, um, don't worry, we will support this old version at least. Um, until mid next year. Um, so on the compatibility uh, side, we, we still do support all versions of Outlook starting with 2010 uh, and Windows versions starting with Windows 7. Um, there are only minor changes in requirements. Um, we now require the .NET Framework 4.7 instead of 4.0. Um, and an installed uh, Internet Explorer, which is not too different from, from the old version. Um, what are the steps you need to do? Um, so the first step you will need to do is update the Jira server app. Um, if you are on cloud, um, you should already have the new version. Um, you can do this via that lesson marketplace. Um, that should not cause any side effects. So um, you can just upgrade that. This will not affect um, the, out, the old Outlook add-in in any way. So um, that will just continue to work like normal. Um, the Outlook add-in, um, the new version, you can download manually then uh, in, in this new uh, Jira app um, and then install this um, on your computer. Um, this can also be tested in parallel to the old add-in, so if you don't want to uh, uninstall this for some reason, um, you can just uh, let it run side by side. Um, all right, um, some words to the roadmap. Um, so. In December, we are still working on adding some missing features back from the old COM add-in. Um, we did retire some, some things which we, based on usage numbers, consider as not that important. Um, though we, we are trying to, to achieve um, feature parity as most that we can do. Um, if you have anything that you are missing from the new version, which was there in the old version, and that is critical to you, please let us know, then we will uh, consider this for our roadmap. Um, in January, we will um, provide probably an opt-in for an auto update. So as I mentioned, the, the install is currently manually the update, um, but we will uh, at a certain point um, provide, or in January, try to provide um, the possibility to auto update the old comment into the new one. Um, as mentioned, this will be an opt-in, so none of your users will um, get this new version automatically because um, there are some major changes and we wanted to make sure that um, you can you can educate users beforehand. Um, probably in the April April to June time frame next year, we will phase out the old comment in and um, if you have any issues with that, um, we will probably recommend upgrading to the new version. Okay, that's mostly it. Let me give you a short summary so you can uh, get the key takeaways and then we can um, have a short uh, questions and answers, uh, answers section. Um, so the add-in um, is a, a major upgrade with tons of improvements. Um, we are considered ready for, ready for production at this point um, and we would strongly suggest that you try it out. Um, it's not necessary to roll it out to everyone just yet, um, but um, at least have some key users or try it yourself um, and, and provide us with feedback um, so we can, uh, we will try to, to rapidly improve um, this version to um, 
yeah be much more much better um than the old one which we which we think it already is um but yeah all right um that's for the webinar um if you do have any questions um you can already um write this in the question and answer section of microsoft teams 